No matter what you play, every gamer wants to feel fully immersed into the game. The beauty of playing racing games like F1 is that there's hardware which can let you experience just that. Wheels, pedals and rigs are there to build immersion for those that have not really felt what it's like to be in a race situation before. I'm James Baldwin, winner of the world's fastest gamer competition. I'm going to help you find the best wheel for your F1 2020 experience. The world of sim racing knows many different types of wheels. Open and close wheels, wheels you mount on your desk, wheels you put on a base, some are covered in leather and some in fabric. Your decision of which wheel to buy will not only influence your gameplay, but also define the fun you can have in a game like F1. There are some major things you need to think about before taking the plunge and buying a wheel. For starters, the Logitech G920 or the G29 are well suited. They provide a solid base for the inexperience as they pack everything you need to start your virtual racing career. The relatively low price compared to other manufacturers is another plus point in favour of Logitech. A solid base is often the key to development, with the Logitech wheel and pedals is a good place to start and it's a good foundation. But what if you're a more experienced driver? Fanatec and Thrustmaster are some of the household names when it comes to sim racing equipment. In various different forms and editions, they have made some of the highest quality wheels on the market. One very positive aspect of those wheels is the production quality. With the solid material and the wheelbase, driving will feel much more refined. Especially in F1, the nice compact structure of a Fanatec CSO Elite base with an F1 Esports rim, for example, allows for a firm grip and the kind of quick reactions you'll need in an F1 car. The F1 type rim is made in a very similar way to a real life F1 wheel. This makes it superior to closed wheels in my opinion. The narrow build of the Fanatec allows the hands to be closer to the motor which then gives you the ability to react quicker. With F1 2020 reactions are a key component as the speeds attained are so high. Take a Rouge and Radion at Spa for example, a set of corners best taken at full speed. With the right wheel you'll have a lot more car control and be able to be a lot more consistent through there as your reactions will be quicker and that will translate to your gameplay. I personally use the A-type wheel as well and it fits perfectly to my driving style. The one downside is the rather high price. Another key aspect that plays into finding the right wheel is finding the right pedals. Just like in the wheel department there are many different forms of pedals. For most sim racers the pedals should provide a few things. The throttle should offer resistance, the brake should be adjustable as it comes down to preference in terms of resistance and variance in the power each driver uses to brake. The handy thing with F1 2020 is that there's no clutch pedal needed. Most players bind the clutch to the upshift paddle on the wheel, which then creates what is known as auto clutch. This feature makes it much more comfortable to drive in F1 2020. Another frequently asked question is whether to wear socks or shoes when driving in a rig. For most sim racers, socks are the perfect fit. With the pedals of Logitech, Fanatec and Thrustmaster, shoes would only numb the feeling and create a less immersive environment. Should you, however, want to go for a high-end option that imitates real life, shoes would be essential, as you would only hurt your feet otherwise. The reason for this is the so-called load cell technology. In very basic terms, a load cell pedal is calculating the brake pressure and not the distance and is therefore much stiffer than a regular brake pedal. Having a good set of pedals is essential and combining it with the right wheel is equally important. The balance between the two can be influential not only on your driving on just F1 2020 but on any simulator. Wheels come in many shapes and sizes. While some are better suited for the experienced, others are a great fit for beginners. Ultimately it comes down to your skill level. Set your expectations accordingly. You won't gain anything if you overestimate your abilities and start with a very very high end wheel from the get go. The Logitech series provides a completely fine start for anyone looking to get into sim racing. It's considerably cheaper than other higher priced competitors while offering a solid sim racing experience. If you want to know more about it, check out our review of the Logitech G29. Taking it a bit further, the Fanatec CSO Elite base with an F1 eSports rim is essentially a very broad replica of an F1 wheel, at least in terms of shape. Many advantages like increased reaction time, high quality materials and the most immersive gameplay possible come with that. So for those that have a bit more cash and experience with other hardware, I'd say this is probably your best bet and your perfect will for your F1 2020 career. Well that's it from me this time, tell us about your favourite wheels in the comments below. My name is James Baldwin, check out the Overtake YouTube channel to see more tutorials of mine and everything else concerning the world of sim racing. But from me, it's goodbye.